What's up, guys? I'll be live over on my Twitch channel tonight, getting some footage for upcoming videos. And I actually believe I was mistaken yesterday. Twitch drops should actually still be live until tomorrow morning. So we'll have one last go around at it if you need to get the new spray, emblem, and exclusive Growl 556 variant. So come on over this evening, hang out, and chat games with me. We'd love to see you guys out there. But anyways, back to the regularly scheduled content. We're drawing towards the end of Modern Warfare's fourth season. But while we're coming to a close, we still have a little bit left on the season. Two updates before we say goodbye to what we have right now. And one of those actually actually came today. Admittedly, as with the past few weeks, it's a bit of a smaller update, but an update no less. So today, we're going to be breaking down everything you need to know, everything that changed, and what you can look forward to to seeing when jumping onto Modern Warfare for the upcoming week. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you enjoy the most out of this update? What are you looking forward to with Season 5, perhaps? Whatever it is, feel free to drop it down below. As well, if you are new to the channel and perhaps a part of that 58% of viewers not subscribed, do be sure to do so to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare, Warzone, and perhaps even COD 2020 on a daily basis as we round into Season 5. But anyways... Let's get into it. Let's start with the front-facing changes, as always, and more importantly, the playable items. For this week's playlist update, we ended up seeing the inclusion of Tournament once again, Ground War in its standard format, Gunfight Blueprints, Gunfight 3v3 Snipers Only, Shoot the Ship, Cranked, and Reinfected Ground War. Now, Tournament, I'm actually kind of surprised that this one is staying around here once again, because we are now entering the third week of play here, assuming that it makes it the full week, though that could be something that does change out here as a Friday. Off the top of my head, I can't remember if that makes it, then if it goes the full three weeks the longest that we've seen a gunfight tournament come around and stay around but that's something that if you haven't jumped on like myself i definitely still need to do it so if you guys are in the same boat here jump in take advantage of that get that m16 or m4 blueprint rather that has the m16 carry handle and also pull in the other rewards for winning that tournament as well plus the ultimate bragging rights. Ground War, well, that's just Ground War. It is exactly what you think. It is the standard Ground War that we've had. Nothing fancy about that one. Gunfight Blueprints, though, is something we've seen beforehand. It's returning once again, in which it's gunfight, but with blueprint variations here of that. Instead of just the regular builds with different attachments, it's instead got a little bit more customization and a little bit more flair to the weaponry. Gunfight 3v3 Snipers Only is exactly what it sounds like. You end up having Snipers Only in a 3v3 format. That can include your HDR, your AX50, your Dragonov, your Rytek AMR, presumably, though I didn't come into contact with that personally just yet, but it's in the sniper category. I would expect that in rotation. But also you have your marksman rifles because those are still technically classified in the game sense as a sniper rifle. Same thing happens whenever you go for platinum camo. You don't get platinum for just getting gold on your snipers. You have to get both the marksman and the snipers, but that's stuff that will be coming as well. Shoot the ship, of course, is that fan favorites of shoot house plus shipment. And this is a great way to finish out any challenges and any camos whatever it may be, and of course is the two fan favorite game modes all put into one mosh fit. Unfortunately, we don't have shipment 24-7 and shoot house 24-7 like we did about a week and a half ago at that point, but it is still something pretty nice. You got a 50-50 chance essentially of getting either shoot house or shipment, so jump into that if you're looking for some high-paced action. Cranked, an absolute favorite of mine. You got to get kills before your timer goes out, and then you go kaboom because it's the anti-camping mode here as I like to think of it, though Oddly enough, I still will find some people that are still sitting in corners even in Cranked, but regardless, you end up having a 30 second timer once you end up getting your initial kill. You have to chain together more, otherwise you end up dying. So it's a TDM variant here in that sense, but a ton of fun if you haven't played it already, though you definitely should have. It's been around quite a few times already, but that's returning here. Reinfected Ground War, though, we end up seeing that it's just infected on a much larger scale here, playing on some of the Ground War maps and in a lot more areas of play than you may be used to, but it is something that is infected on a way larger scale. Nice part is also, though, is that you're your stats don't really track here with this one, so kills, deaths, all that doesn't really matter. You can just play it out how you want to, and it won't negatively affect your KD and other things. Jumping over to the Warzone side of things, again, as with last week, there's really not a whole lot different here with this, which is unfortunate, but it seems like we'll get a change here later on in the week, but we end up having, right now, Battle Royale and Plunder Quads. Battle Royale, of course, being your solos, duos, trios, and quads in their standard format, nothing like Stimulus or 200, where there's a slight variation on one of these, and and then plunder quads, of course, is just plunder in the quad format. Though, like we mentioned later on in the week, according to the blog post that we got as of yesterday, the week at a glance blog, we ended up seeing that we will end up seeing stimulus duos introduced. And since it hasn't been introduced as of yet, I would imagine that is coming as of Friday's weekend update here for this, potentially around with another shop update as well. But stimulus duos will be interesting. I know that I love stimulus here in the trios format. Solos was 
was fun whenever it was first introduced, but Trio has offered up so much more in terms of a meta shift, where you could end up getting your loadout in the first 30 seconds. Duos doesn't look to really do that. You're going to have to take at least a couple of engagements or loot up before you can end up sacrificing that cash and bring you below the threshold of coming back, but you sacrifice in the name of getting your loadouts early. Duos isn't quite the meta shakeup that Trio's was, but it is something that will naturally be that bridge mode between solos and trios. One, though, could hope that maybe one day soon we end up having stimulus quads, because that would be incredible, or even better yet, stimulus quads 200. I'd be all for that. I mean, in that case, you end up having your loadout armor and potentially a UAV all within the first 30 seconds here. You can just absolutely slay out in that. And if there's 200, well, that means that there's even going to be more people coming back, more players. Oh, Dude, just thinking about it, that'd be so good. I'd love that. But anyways, that is the playlist updates here as of this week and what we can expect maybe again later on at the point of Friday in the week. On the shop side of things, we saw a couple of different things introduced this week. The Earth Expeditionary Force Bundle, the Racing Series Mach 8, and more than likely you see the new Professional Bundle also introduced in the Operator section, not necessarily just that featured. But the Earth Expeditionary Force Bundle is available for 1,600 COD points in which it comes with a handful of different items. One, the Outrider Charlie skin, the Colonial Standard LMG, which is the Holger 26, the Does Not Compute Watch, the Flip Weapon Charm, the Deadly Stowaway Calling Card, and the Artifact Emblem. Now, if you look at this stuff, truth be told, I get some heavy Stranger Things vibes from this one, which is really cool in the design intent, but the stuff that it comes along with, truth be told, I probably wouldn't use all that much. I like my Magic 8-Ball watch too much to give that one up, and then the Colonial Standard, I don't really use the Holger 26 all that much, and don't know if I would, so that's available if you are interested but the next thing up on deck in terms of the shop is the Racing Series Mach 8 bundle for 1,800 COD points. Now, this is a combination of weapon skins and also vehicle skins here with this one. We end up seeing the Autoclave Striker 45, the Winter Circle M19, the Pit Stop ATV skin, the Shakin Rover skin, the Start Your Engines Vehicle Horn, and also the Piston Charm that comes along with that. Truth be told, for the weapon side of things, I think the Blueprint Camo is actually really awesome. The problem is that I just wouldn't ever use these weapons all that much. The Striker 45 is, in at least my opinion, a mid to low tier SMG by comparison to others on the table for what can do well for you. And as somebody in Warzone that usually runs overkill, I'd get minimal use out of the pistol, likely also in MP. So it's not necessarily my cup of tea, but the vehicle skins, though, admittedly do look really cool. So again, entirely up to you. And then the professional bundle, we end up seeing the Fixer Wyatt skin, the Razor Wire MP5 blueprint, the Badger Set 50GS or Desert Eagle, the All Hollow Tiger. Hide Charm, the Deathly Vision Sticker, the Road to Nowhere Calling Card, the Soul Guide Spray, and the Grim Beauty Emblem, all available for 1,800 COD points. I'll be totally honest with you too, I get some hardcore Marlton vibes from Black Ops 2 Zombies, the Transit Crew, so I guess just a coincidence here that they look similar, but a nifty skin for Wyatt no less. The final thing that is, I guess, purchasable with this update actually comes down to a new tier sale, and this is for those that may not have completed all of their tiers and may need a little bit of a boost in their battle pass. If you haven't completed it yet, I really wouldn't stress out too much just yet because we still have a decent bit of time for you to grind out. We're still two weeks out now from Modern Warfare's fifth season, but they're putting the offer there for people that may be interested in it. Though historically, the final week of the season is usually including a double tier event, so it really comes down to if you trust that pattern, if you have the time to actually play if it does come around, or if you don't really want to and you just want to get it out of the way. By no means would I ever tell you what to do with your money. That is not my place whatsoever, but for those that maybe need to progress their tiers a little more that's what's presented also within this shop update now the final thing that was added in within this update for modern warfare is what we've seen every other update now since modern warfare's fourth seasonal launch these being new warzone intel missions now the new perspectives missions is again another six tasks you have to end up finding and then collecting the intel on and i would imagine these are the last ones at least for season four maybe these continue more so into season five we'll have to wait and see but that is something that for season four these are the last ones I'm expecting. Though, the downside is that if you were like me and the many other players that yours glitched out either in week one, week two, or week three, you're still going to be glitched out. That has not been fixed just yet after what is four weeks or so, about a month's time at this point. So, that's a huge bummer if you ask me. I love doing these kind of things. I love the storyline of Warzone and what we have to kind of find out to piece it all together. That is incredibly fun for me and I can't take part in any of that really because I can't actually access them. So that's something that if you do have these glitched out, you're not alone. This is still a big problem that has not been addressed, at least that I've not seen so far. But 
those were added in for any easter egg hunters out there but one final thing that we actually got not necessarily with the update but with today was that streamer tp ended up following suit from yesterday's video with nick Merckx. we got a teaser via him on stream as of yesterday and tp actually got a new one today that looks to be pretty awesome for season five here it again has the same sort of 5th of august timestamp on it but a different time code but this one actually takes place inside stadium you can see it's a sort of concession stand hallway but you can end up seeing that it's the inside of that logo where you can just right at the edge see into stadium but you hear a bang followed by then a shock wave and a no signal indicating what seems like a bomb going off in the stadium so maybe that's how we end up seeing stuff go forward in terms of opening up stadium and we get the playable areas now within but an awesome piece here that i wanted to add in after editing and let you guys know about we'll talk about it more in detail as of tomorrow but that was added as well today other than that that is the update here in a nutshell within modern warfare and warzone for this week the penultimate week of season four so that said i'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below what do you guys think of this do you like this update are you looking forward to a little bit more maybe coming on the horizon with season five whatever it is feel free to let me know your thoughts down down below but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing writing all things modern warfare updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel so if any of that interests you hit that subscribe button especially with season five right around the corner but said if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected outside of youtube practically live on both those so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below but all that's it out of the way thank you guys all so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace Oh, 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 oh,